Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch is back from a trip to Mexico where she led a group of Indiana agriculture and tourism officials to cultivate economic partnerships and also strengthen the relationships. That trip included the signing of a letter of intent between the Lieutenant Governor and the state of Hidalgo's Secretary of the Interior. It calls for increased cooperation between the two states in areas including agriculture, education, science, and technology. Indiana is home to 15 Mexico-based businesses that support more than 1,000 jobs. Indiana Department of Transportation Commissioner Joe McGinnis and Richmond Mayor Dave Snow helped cut the ribbon this week to mark completion of the $24 million reconstruction of U.S. 27 and U.S. 40 in downtown Richmond, the project part of Governor Eric Holcomb's 20-year Next Level Roads program. And the Winona Lake Town Council has established a revolving loan fund to help purchase the Stonehenge Golf Club and continue the relaunch of that shuttered course. The Kosciuszko Community Development Corporation entering into a lease agreement with a group led by golf professional Denny Hepler to operate the course and sell the clubhouse to an entity planning to redevelop it. Well, in uh, our second installment of Indiana's Future Ready Workforce series with Project Lead the Way, we take a look at sectors in need of talent and the companies that are engaging future workers. It's a great example right here in Indianapolis, and I'm pleased to be joined by Republic Airways Chief Administrative Officer Matt Koskel with details on how the Lyft Academy could create jobs with its direct-to-hire classroom-to-cockpit path for students. Matt, welcome to the program as always. Hey, thank you for having us. Let's talk about, uh, first of all, uh, that need. There's a pilot shortage that's been out there for, for, for some time and a real feeling uh, out there in the marketplace that technology workforce needs have really uh, passed up traditional education. Yeah, they've, you know, not passed up in general, but, you know, we haven't done enough to make it affordable and accessible uh, and enough streams of uh, affordable, accessible education for students who want to get into the cockpit or get into the technician field. Yeah. And the need is great. We have a need for over 600,000 pilots over the next two decades and 600,000 technicians over the next two decades. So you've got 1.2 million mm -hmm. uh, high paying aviation careers that need to be filled and not enough infrastructure and mm -hmm. educational paths today to get people into the into to those jobs. In a very bold move, I think, Republic uh, Airways decided to uh, take matters in, into your own hands, essentially, investing $50 million into the Lyft Academy here in Indianapolis. Talk about that. Launched a year ago and has really gained a lot of traction. Yeah, we did. And we're really excited about it. Uh, we launched uh, last September. We sat our first class. We have over 100 students enrolled and actually flying over the skies of Indianapolis today. Wow. We've had applicants from over 50 states, from all 50 states, excuse me. Um, and we have uh, students from, you know, dozens of states around the country. So we're bringing, you know, not only uh, education uh, for folks here in Indianapolis, but we're attracting people to uh, the city of Indianapolis uh, for this exciting opportunity. And, and we really see this as an opportunity for us to not only ensure we have high quality, high trained uh, students mm -hmm. who can matriculate to our cockpit, but we're making it more accessible to a diverse population that's really been left behind in aviation. Yeah, and you're really engaging the workforce, uh, for high school graduates, but also career changing uh, individuals, military, uh, those who have served in the military, getting in to these positions that pay well above the, the average wage. No, absolutely we have and, and the military is a great place for us because uh, there's a lot of active military who are coming back and, and looking to re-enter the workforce. They've been around aviation but not necessarily been trained to you know mm -hmm. be in the cockpit or actually be a, a technician and you know we're able to take that interest and provide a, a low cost opportunity for them to not only get the high training but yeah. once again have guaranteed employment at Republic Airways once they complete it. Innovative partnerships part of this uh, uh, process. I know your partnership with Project Lead the way connects with students in high school in the classroom, but also getting teachers excited about aviation and teaching that in the classroom as well. Yeah, we couldn't be more excited than uh, we are with the Project Lead the Way partnership because we can't do this alone. We need to excite a lot more of the future generation into aviation, and that starts with helping them connect with not only understanding the opportunities, but getting connected with the emotional excitement of aviation. Um, in that partnership last year, we took over 50 uh, counselors and high school uh, teachers to the Oscar Air Show. We flew them up to uh, Air Adventure, which is a one-day introduction to uh, you know career opportunities in aviation, and we're going to do that again you know this year. So it's an exciting opportunity. We're we're also working with them to expand curriculum and courses into the high schools. So. Very good uh, applicants from all 50 states in the Lyft Academy. Matt Koskel is chief administrative officer at Republic Airways. Thanks as always, Matt. Hey, thank you. All right.